Hey! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Old Ass Movie Reviews. I'm Dave, that's Scott, and we are here to review... What are we here to review? We are here to review Smokey and the Bandit. What year was this? 1977? 1977. Yeah. I remember when this came out. Yeah, I do, too. I think... I think my sister Laura took me to see this at the uh, at the theater. Yeah, this is one that I've seen for a long time. Before we start talking about it, let's get the the stuff out of the way of, hey, thanks for tuning in to Old Ass Movie Reviews. And uh, we do appreciate you finding us. If you like us, hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the share. Um, leave us a review on Apple and Spotify. Help us be found. Um, yes. Share with your friends. Uh, we we just like talking movies, and I know there's people that like hearing about movies, and we try and bring you some obscure stuff and some really cool stuff, and we have some interesting takes sometime, I'm sure. <laughs> so anyway, Smokey and the Bandit, 1977. Dave and I both were around when it came out, and yeah. remembering... Yeah how cool this movie is with burt reynolds sally field jerry reed jackie gleason holy cow uh paul williams I, do what paul williams paul williams yes dude i i thought okay so it'd been a long time since i've seen this right. movie a very long time so to prep prep myself we watched the trailer and thought oh this is this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Really? I did not like that. I saw the trailer that I found. Now, there it may have just been a really crappy trailer, but it's like, oh, this is Dukes of Hazard level stuff right here. Um, and that's not a, necessarily a negative criticism, right. folks. Uh, there's good in that uh, because, as I'll, we'll talk in this review, uh, so I was like, oh my god, it's going to be. It's not going to be good. It's it's going. I as a kid, I thought it was cool, but now, right. So we watched right. it. And it's like, dude. This is a awesome movie. It is Fantastic. funny. It's got oh, it's funny, man. It's got Fantastic. so much humor. It's it's the the chemistry of Burt Reynolds and Sally Field. They just so good together. And yeah. it's like Jerry Reed and Fred. Uh, you know, <laughs> Jerry and Fred. Come on, Fred. Hey, Fred, you're getting hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Eat a cheeseburger. Yeah, so it's it was it was much better than I was expecting, and I was glad. It's like, damn, I really enjoyed that movie. Right. I think I could sit down yeah. and watch it again. Yeah, it it is. It's a lot of action, a lot of a lot of high speed chase. There was yeah. a point in the seventies when there was a lot of high speed chase movies, like the Gone with sixty seconds that we watched. That mm -hmm. The only good thing about that movie was the high oh, speed. Oh, had some great chases in there. Uh, but real real quick, folks, there was a time in this country when Coors. Coors beer could only be sold uh, east of Texarkana. Yeah. No, west of Texarkana. Yeah, west of Texarkana. To bring it east was, I think, over the Mississippi line uh, mm. was considered uh, well, bootlegging. bootlegging. Yeah. The whole concept of this series is, or this show is, that there's these two really rich guys, the dad and son. The and opening scene sets this up so well. They're, that's perfect. They've already the, the truck driver comes in. There's just some unknown truck driver. The cops are pulling up behind the truck driver. They nail the truck driver after he opens up his door and he's, his trailer is packed with core. No, it wasn't cores. It was something else. Yeah, it was cores. Oh, was it cores? Yeah, it was um, cores. Yeah, it was cores. And he gets hit for for bootlegging. Yeah, he's lost his bet with the two guys. Um. So they're looking for somebody else. They're, 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 these two guys are just too. It's almost really, like they have really a game. Assholes. Yeah. To them, it's just a game. They like to see guys lose and get it's like arrested. trading places. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Two and, rich guys. They like to have bets. <laughs> and they know about the bandit. They, they know who this guy is. They know he's a legend. They go and hire him. They figure this, this is the perfect guy to let get arrested. This is, he'll never win. He's got to go all the way from, was it uh, Atlanta, right? Was it near yeah, from Atlanta, 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 Atlanta to Texarkana. To Texarkana and back. Yeah. In 28, 28 hours. hours. Holy crap. <laughs> so he goes and gets his friend. Burt Reynolds gets Jerry Reed, which is his friend. Cletus, they, yeah. They, they steal. I thought that they had paid for it. I, I don't remember uh, no, they stole. the beer. But they basically <laughs> steal the bear. They're, they're, 
<laughs> Jerry Reed's writing a note saying, send the bill for the beer to so-and-so. The big and little he's halfway, <laughs> he's halfway through writing the letter and he just throws it down and jumps, go. jumps in. So <laughs> from that point on, they're headed back to, to uh, Atlanta. And in the middle of driving back somewhere near Mississippi uh, line, Burt Reynolds finds Sally Fields. She's in a wedding dress. She flags him down. She jumps in the car and tells him to drive. She's getting undressed in the car while he's driving. And he just picks her up and takes off. Yeah. <clears throat> and from there, you find out she's getting married. And she's being chased by Jackie Gleason and his son. Because she ran out on the wedding. She bailed. <laughs> she bailed. And for a good reason. Oh, yeah. But that's that's the whole plot of, of the movie. is They're running booze. She's in the car. She's being chased. He has no idea. The bandit has no idea why Jackie Gleason's character she even chased him for. It was his son um, yeah. who she bailed on, and he's this, this God, this yeah. sheriff that is just the epitome of just so full of himself and thinks he's the greatest thing in the yeah. world. And he is so oh my God, Jackie Gleason. Holy shit! He when I get home, I'm gonna punch you, punch your mama right in the mouth. <laughs> So How I are love you that a spawn that, of my loins. <laughs> the, the punch in the mouth. I mean, you cannot you cannot see Jackie Gleason. Hear him say that and not think of uh Ralph. Was it Ralph or Cram the, oh, the Honeymooners? Cramden, yeah. yeah, Ralph Cramden from the Honeymooners. Right to the moon, Alice. Right to the <laughs> but it, it's so funny because Jackie Gleason, for anybody who doesn't know Jackie Gleason, the guy was a freaking legend. Yes. He, I mean, he literally he he was a big band leader. He was an actor. He was a singer. He could do comedy. He could do drama. He yeah. was really talented. Very much. So when I first saw him in this, I was used to seeing him in like the Honeymooners. I saw mm -hmm. him in uh, uh, the the Pool Shark one. I forgot the name oh. of it that he was in. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of the name of the movie, but he was a, a pool shark. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'm going to look that one up, too. But I remember seeing this in the theater and Jackie Gleason, when he starts talking to his son and he's just insulting his son. I was floored as a kid. I was 11, 12, yeah. maybe. And I was floored that Jackie Gleason is just being so insulting to his, I know, right? <laughs> insulting to his wife. I mean, this guy, and he cracked me up the whole time. I mean, it was really, really funny. And Sally Field, she she came back. She was out of Gidget at this mm -hmm. point. She was still known for Gidget, still known for the Flying Nun. Yeah, and to see her in this role where she's kind of a, a kind of a sexy vixen girl, oh, yeah. girl kind of thing. Yeah, was really like again as a kid. I was used to seeing her in one way, and then all of a sudden here she is it's hanging like, out with Burt Reynolds, <laughs> one of the coolest freaking guys in the world, and it's like, holy crap, yeah. that's. That was cool. That as a kid, uh, let's yeah. hold just a second here because we're, we're talking about this. And yeah, as a kid, we're seeing this. And and these these are actors who have who had since went on to to cover so many uh, big roles and right. win Oscars and everything. Everybody's really talented in this. And it's, um, mm -hmm. I mean, Burt Reynolds makes this movie. I don't think anybody else could have been the Bandit. Period. No. No. There is a level of swagger and sexiness from Bert yeah. that just, hell, even I want to watch Bert, more Burt Reynolds. So yeah. it's like, it, it's he's a cool dude. I mean, everybody wants to be the bandit, you know? But. And, and again, even with Burt Reynolds, a lot of the movies that he did up to about this point in time were mm -hmm. fairly serious movies. Yeah. You know, he, he was doing Gator. He was doing White Lightning. He was doing... Uh, uh, the one we talked about last week and we we're both deliverance like, uh, deliverance you know mm -hmm. he did those kinds of movies really tough guy roles <clears throat> so whatever somebody talked him into this i don't know if he just looked around and went you know what i want to do a comedy or i want to do something a little bit lighter I just i'm glad like, they did i'm glad I, they did yeah because that was a second career that was that whole thing was an entirely second career for him from that mm -hmm. point because he did a lot of comedies he did stroker ace he does hooper he did uh oh what 
there's another there was one. always i remember through through that time frame into the 80s yeah that would he was uh anytime he turned on the tv you see a trailer for the next burt reynolds movie he was yeah. the star man yeah i mean it, he was it that he was the guy i remember my aunt had gone and got was it vogue where vogue or playgirl that he posed oh is this where he's posed with the yeah he's he's yeah he on did, the rug yeah he did a center he did basically a centerfold yeah i mean and he'd made no worries about it and i remember he was on uh, not donahue he was on one of those early morning shows after school you know yeah. and the guy was asking him about that the the, the questioner the, the pinup <laughs> the host was asking him about like what why did you do this you didn't need to do this and he started laughing he goes because i didn't think anything of it number one number two nobody wants to see me and it was the highest selling magazine of that year <laughs> nobody wants to see me he, he was like i didn't <laughs> think anybody would want to see me because he was just be like i don't why why not you know you pay but me <laughs> I, yeah and that's probably what it was like how much are you gonna pay me okay i'll do it and that's as far as i know that was the only time he ever did anything like that but that's <laughs> he was so popular that could have ruined a career yeah it would now. But it it didn't. I mean, Burt Reynolds was just Burt Reynolds. And it was just like, I ain't going to apologize for that. Let's go have fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the name of the movie that I was talking about was was Jackie Gleason and Paul Newman was The Hustler. The Hustler, that's it. If that's anyone it. ever gets a chance to see that movie. That's a good movie. Jackie Gleason play, I think he's playing uh, Philadelphia Fats. That's not right. You think of Minnesota Fats? Minnesota Fats. Thank you. Yeah. He's playing Minnesota Fats. I think in that. Wow. And then to go pull some uh, billiard references out. Yeah, right. Where did that I knowledge come from? Billiards all the time when I was a kid. I loved it. Um, <laughs> I, I love to play. <laughs> I used to love to play, so I used to watch them. But I'll be uh, damned if I buy a pool table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't got any room to put it. I would love Thanks. to have a pool table. Yeah. Um, but if you get a chance to watch The Hustler, you can see exactly how talented jackie gleason was yeah definitely phenomenal just and then if you ever go on spotify look for jackie gleason look for any any of his big band stuff oh ah, very amazing, cool amazing amazing that this guy was just like incredible so that's very why cool. i see him in this role as the first time i remember sitting in the theater and just yeah. going being shocked like oh my god yeah. <laughs> jackie gleason just sitting yeah so a, that that was in it, the mouth <laughs> And I, I'm going to just talk briefly on this because we at Old Ass Movies don't give a shit about how something looks on through 2023 lenses. Um, nope. And really it's don't funny, care. Funny. This movie is funny as fuck. And um, I just, I, you know, there's a few times I pause like, oh, that was inappropriate, but it was funny. Uh, you know, there was a and lot going on. It was inappropriate then, and that's what made it fun. That's exactly right. And what the vibe I got was a blazing saddles in a few spots. It's like, yeah, you know yeah. what? This is so in your face. It's on purpose. Yeah. And it was uh, especially the scene where um, the local sheriff gets pushed off the bridge into the water. <laughs> hey, boy. And <laughs> Jackie, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a black sheriff, and Jackie Gleason's character, Buford justice uh and boy he's and when he finds out he's the sheriff he's like what he sounded taller yeah, <laughs> on yeah, the radio like, or whatever yeah, what the hell is this world coming to i mean you realize just how racist buford just justice off those is. statements yeah and that one scene yeah and he he doesn't even have to do much i mean the lines he could have just blown those lines off yeah. but he took those lines he chewed them up and the cop that he's playing against, the guy, I like mm -hmm. when the guy comes out because he thinks he's going to be this tiny black guy that he's going to push around. <laughs> and this guy stands up and Buford P. Justice is maybe up to his chest. And the guy looks like a linebacker. I yeah. don't know who the guy was, but he <laughs> he just looks down at him and he's like, you can see he just wants to kill him. He just wants to punch this guy in the <laughs> face so bad, but he can't because he's another law enforcement <laughs> officer. Yeah. Buford P. just turns around and walks away and he's bitching like, what is this world coming to? <laughs> like, I know what? he doesn't have to say, and that's the beauty of it. They, they don't have to say anything else yeah. to to show you how racist he was yeah. and everything. And it's why, just, why the girl's running away from the family? You oh, know? I know, right? <laughs> so, and that's that's what I was getting to. So, the the groom she left standing at the altar 
the groom's father is this this crazy ass sheriff played by uh, Jackie Gleason, and he sets off in chase, and he oh, chases yeah. them all the way from Texas or from Mississippi. No, he's from Texas. He's Texas from Texas. Yeah, he, he he all the way from Texas. All yeah, world. from Texarkana all the way to Atlanta, um, and still doesn't get you. <laughs> doesn't get him. And I love that. Uh, the scene, it, this has got nothing to do with the main chase. There, there's a point where uh, uh, the snowman stops up to get something to eat and drink, and he wants to call his wife to, to oh. let her know what's going on. And all these bikers are in this bar, and they beat the shit out of him. I mean, they, they, you know, they don't, they start, the fight starts over his dog. Mm -hmm. And they, they beat him up, and he gets out. He, like, walks to his truck, and he's like, fuck, man. And they're all laughing. Ha, 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 ha. He gets into his truck. And he looks at that line of bikes. Oh, it's a beautiful he moment. Looks over I, at his I dog love it. The dog kind of looks at him like, <laughs> let's do it, dad. <laughs> Fred was great casting. That dog had so much star power, man. <laughs> no, that dog was great. I yeah. want a dog like that. I know. Who wouldn't want Fred? God, yeah, a beast. He just, <laughs> he just walked. He just slams into all those motorcycles, it's runs awesome. them over, and yeah, takes off. Yeah, they're dead, man. They're crushed. They, Ain't one of those bikes worth a shit after he hits them. Oh, that was great. That was a great scene. I remember looking at that going, yeah, yeah. That's how you handle that kind of situation. Exactly. Yeah. Don't mess with a man's dog. No, don't mess <laughs> with a man's dog. And if you're going to beat somebody up, make sure they ain't got a semi tractor trailer. Yeah. To run over your motorcycle. Front of it. <laughs> <laughs> they should just be thankful they weren't on them. <laughs> yeah. Cause he would have done that. <laughs> One of the things I want to talk about when it comes to this movie, and this is uh, indicative of a lot of movies from the seventies, um, at, especially at this time, there was this huge CB radio culture yeah. at the time. Um, I had so many friends, you'd go in their house their parents would have like a big base station, a big tower, yeah. and they would sit there and, and listen to the yeah. truckers and the law enforcement and all of that. Yeah. Now, folks, you need to understand when Dave and I grew up, there were like maybe three channels, four, if you were lucky and had a potato mm -hmm. and some aluminum foil and held it just right. You might get that fourth channel exactly. at midnight. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the wind is just right. When everything lines up. So there was for entertainment, folks did really get into the CB scene. Yeah. And there was a long, whole bunch of trucker movies, CB things. I had a board game. Convoy. And I, I forget what the, I'm sorry, what? The Convoy movie. Convoy, yeah. Uh, based on the song by C.W. McCall. Mm -hmm. Um but the I actually had a board game. It might have been a convoy board game or a C. Right. I forget what it was, but every card you pulled, dude, I'm going way back to 70s on this shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it would be CB slang, like 10 100 or, yeah, yeah. you know, 10 4 breaker, all the, all yeah, the breaker, terminology. Breaker. What's your 20? And it's like, yeah, you, I learned all of that. It was cool. In fact, as a kid, I wanted to be a truck driver. Yeah. Everybody's wanting to be doctors and lawyers and such. Right. And well, oh, wow, I'm going to start quoting Waylon Jennings here. I was going to uh, go into the song you caught me just as I was getting ready to go into it. <laughs> Mama. Oh, don't let the babies grow up to be. Yeah, careful. let them be doctors that's and lawyers good. and such. That's What's good that? country music right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's real, real country music. And that's from this time frame. Anyway, so yeah. that was... That was the thing. So it was like a big deal. So it's when you when you watch this movie now and you see how everybody's got they make a point to show these CB radios because it's a cool thing. Yeah, it was it was a neat thing. One. Yeah. And the funny thing is that there's evidently a lot of people still have them. Mm -hmm. Like Really? Yeah. Well, I know the truckers probably still have them. Well, yeah, I'm sure you don't want to be tracked by anybody if you're doing something wrong. If, you, if you're yeah. literally moonshining. <laughs> You know what? You don't want anybody to track you. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So, so yeah, the uh, the the way that everybody that had the CBs knew who the bandit was and mm -hmm. knew who uh, the snowman was. They knew he was being chased by every state trooper between Texarkana yeah. and Atlanta. He's and they're blocking for him. Like yeah. at one point, that all was the really cool. trailers are up on the road, and the yeah. cops can't get around them because you got like a half mile of trailers. And they can't trailers. see them. <laughs> they're they're taking up all the lanes, and he doesn't he zip zoop in 
Yeah, they move over and block him in yeah, so yeah, yeah. the cops can't see him anymore and they just kind of take him out of the way till the cops drive yeah. on. And it was it was a slick move. And it, yeah. here's here's the thing when we talk about that, everybody knew who the bandit and snowman were. Yeah. Everybody. So what that tells me is whether they ever wrote it or not, there is a huge bandit history. Yeah. There is a yeah. legacy there. There's these runs that are legendary and there's this yeah. stuff that's been done. This is a franchise that could be tapped right now with the right actor. That's, there's nobody out there that could do it. I that's think my fear. I don't know who it would be, but I guarantee there is. That's my fear is if they did it, yeah, they would destroy this this movie. They, or yeah. they, there's there's nobody there. Look, look at the first three Star Wars, the last three Star Wars. I think you the stories are good. I think there'd like, be something. It'd be cool, but yeah. If you get You're, the right person to write it, the right person to direct it. Yeah. But ooh. well, and that's that's the problem, and that's what we run into with a lot of movies when they do a prequel or a sequel. You get somebody, or it's so, so much time has passed. You get somebody who doesn't understand the energy right. and the vibe right. of the original, and they make something that doesn't even feel like it. I'm talking to you, Ryan Johnson, and then <laughs> you know, so it doesn't. It like just misses the whole freaking point. Uh, I, I'll give a good example since I just gave a bad one. Uh, right. The 2013, I think it is, Evil Dead, uh, mm -hmm. quote, remake reboot by Fede Alvarez uh, is phenomenal. And it's right. it has the feeling, the vibe. You watch it, you know you're watching an Evil Dead movie. It's Oh, cool. I, All right. Dude, it's amazing. I think you talked to me about that one time. I probably have. I, it's one of my all-time favorites. It's just, never it's insanely it. good. It's it's very uh, intense. It's a great, great horror movie, a great part of the Evil Dead franchise. But anyway, right. Smokey and the Bandit is where we're <laughs> But that's what I was, you, you bring up a good point. Right. You would have to just nail it. Um, you so have maybe to they somebody should that loves the history who loves Burt Reynolds, who mm -hmm. loves Sally Fields. Now, you don't have to have Sally Fields in there, you can, but he's got yeah. to have that kind of person as a love interest or mm -hmm. a friend that's like, you know what I mean? That well, you if you do prequels, like, she wouldn't be in there. There would be somebody else like that, though. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You have to oh, yeah, yeah. what kind of person he's looking for. Yes. The bandit is actually looking for. Oh, yeah. Um, And, and the snowman. Who are you going to get to play Jerry Reed? That's just it. I mean, it... Uh, it's doable, but um, I guarantee a country singer. You'd have to get a good country singer. Yeah. And one, you well, know, and that, Dwight Yoakam could do it. Even today, Dwight Yoakam could do it. Yeah, he absolutely could. He good actor, and he. I, could, I would he buy it. He could do the singing. And I could, he could buy sing. Him. Yeah, I could buy that. Is, yeah, I don't just know who would. A little bit of fun. Who would you try and cast as uh, the bandit? My first thought was, um, and Pete, I'm going to catch some internet hate for it or laughter, but I, think uh, I know who Aaron. Uh, I can't pronounce his name. The guy did solo. It's exactly what I was thinking. I swear First to God. First person that came to mind. It's exactly. He's the only guy who came to mind who's got the swagger he's, that could Thank you. He's off. got the swagger. He's got the energy. I he he I I personally feel he nailed Han Solo. Yeah, I think he I he too. would nail Burt Reynolds. I think he I could think do Burt easily. It. Because it's the same They're the same type of character. The same character, but it's the same swagger. It's a, it is a swagger. It is a I'm really self-assured and here I go. They are the same archetype character. Uh, the bandit and Han Solo are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both they're, smugglers. They're, 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 yeah, exactly. And that's what you do. You just have him smuggling something else. Yeah. You have him doing something. You know. I, so it's funny that we both go to the same actor. That's the first, first and only person that comes to mind. But I'm trying to think, like, because you'd need a younger guy to play the snowman. I would definitely go country music, and I would want a real country music star, not these bro country guys that I can't. That's not, country, that, that's not country music. We could do a no. whole podcast on bro country yeah, and the pandering. My whole point. like that. I'm going to sing with a southern accent. Motherfucker, you're from Maryland. <laughs> you're from Boston. Stop Adding singing. Twang, don't Maryland. make it. But I don't, I don't know who, who, would, uh, who you oh. could get because I'm not that dialed in to um, – it would, I'm sure there's somebody out there yeah, who would nail fine. it, but it would be for me, somebody who is what they consider alt country or Americana folk, what I consider yeah. now real country that mm -hmm. is not on anywhere, but and, like and college radio and shit. What's funny is there's a band, they're a British band. They do like a, uh, a bluesy, 
bluesy country uh, rock mm -hmm. kind of sound. And I'm going to pull, I'll let you know their name right now. I love them to death. I discovered them completely by accident. Right. And the name of the band, it's a husband and wife team, and they're called When Rivers Meet. Oh, interesting. What's up? When, when Rivers Meet, when Rivers Meet, if you folks are out there and you like good music, find them. They're on Spotify. Go buy their stuff. Support them. Husband and wife team. They turned down a contract because they like to do their own stuff. And they were afraid that I, I think the way that I read their, their newsletter was they were kind of afraid that if they took the contract, they may be told what to do and you know how to wow. how often they have to come out with an album how yeah. often, when they got a tour. Whereas now they get to do their own thing and fan, a fan is a true fan. Um, but when rivers meet, if this movie were ever to come to fruition, I would actually go hunt these people down and go, I need two songs for this, for this. Oh, wow. yeah. doing Smokey. Here's the original Smokey and the Bandit. This is the feel for the movie that we're doing right now. Give me two songs that will fit this. Yeah. And just let them do their thing because they're, when you listen to them, it reminds me of uh, Janice. The, her voice sometimes reminds me of Janice Joplin. Oh, and wow. When he sings, he reminds me of uh, not, I get kind, kind of like Eric Clapton, but not exactly. Because hmm. he, he doesn't have that same type of timber as, as Eric Clapton, but he has that emotional range. Right. And when she sings, she's just like, holy Christ, girl, you got it. I hope you win millions of dollars and, and just awesome. get whatever the hell you need. But uh, somebody, I, and I would do a couple more bands, I'll go find a couple more bands like that mm -hmm. and bring them in to do like Yeah, because that, that's one of the, that's. Keep them unknown. I'm yeah. sorry, that's all I was going to say. No, no, and that, that that's part of the, part of the vibe of this movie. This movie has, it, it's a very 70s movie. Mm -hmm. It's got some great car scenes and <laughs> I mean, pop. Pontiac had had to love the massive uptick in sales of such an iconic Trans Am. Um, I would want one today. I I love that car. So my dad, my dad being my dad, went out and got one. My uh, my friend Dave, that I used to hang yeah. out with, Michigan, had one. Uh huh. And let I me tell no, you, nobody has it. <laughs> Ozzy traction is can be good in the snow. But when all your friends are drunk and you're the only sober one and your buddy tosses you the keys and it's a snowstorm, mm. never driven his Pontiac Trans Am before. Oh, no. <laughs> Spun down, what was it, Ford Ford Highway, Ford, uh, <laughs> Ford Expressway? The wrong way. I was headed the wrong way when I finally stopped the car into oncoming traffic. Oh, my God, dude. Let me spun it. <laughs> Got it in the right direction and kept going. He's in the seat next to me. He wakes up and it was literally like the only thing I could think of was smoking the bandit when I was doing it. Like I, but I was terrified. My hands were on the wheel. He looks up. Hey man, everything okay? Oh yeah, everything's great, yeah, Dave. Everything's fine. great. <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> oh, who's asking? <laughs> There's two other people. I forgot who the hell else was in the car, but they're both passed out in the back. I'm like, oh my I can god, out of all of us killed, and I'm the only sober one in the car. <laughs> Good god, dude, dude, that, that's funny. It, it was a sweet ride, dude. That, but yeah, oh it. It had the iconic car, um, a yeah. lot of good chases. And so I'm watching this movie and I'm seeing all of this. And it's like I had such a Dukes of Hazard feeling because that's a yeah. show I grew up watching that had some great car chases and stunts and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And just overall silliness. Um, and I thought, man, did did the Dukes take a look at this and oh, base yeah. their show? They oh, yeah. did, probably to an extent. But the the official answer is... There was a movie filmed called Moon Runners. Yep, that's a great and movie too. I I'm going to watch it. Um, yeah. I, I I I sought it out. Um, but it has Waylon Jennings as the balladeer, mm -hmm. all the same characters, uh, not actors, but characters, yeah. and it's the Dukes of Hazard pilot basically. Yeah. It, it uh, was, so I think wow. it was at the theater. I think that went to the. I think it was actually a movie movie. It did. It did, um, but I, I say it's the pilot because that's yeah. essentially what it was. That's basically what it was based on. Was, was yeah. that. I forgot the name of it. it but yeah, it, Moon Runners. Moon Runners. Okay, I only see, saw it one time, and I just it looks really one. bad. But I'll check it out. You know, I mean, a lot of trailers are misleading, so it's hard to tell. When you're a kid, 
Oh, I bet it was great. You as put a kid. yourself into twelve or thirteen year old kid. Yeah. Mode. The guy. There's the only scene that I remember is one of the guys pulling back the bow, and mm-hmm. there was a cop car up on the hill, and he lets one rip. The dynamite stuck to it. Yeah. Boom! Blows up that cop car off the top of the hill, and I just remember thinking as a kid, that is the coolest thing in the world. I want a bow and arrow so I can put dynamite. Yeah, yeah. And so, and we all thought that with the the Dukes because they did that a yeah, lot, the and it's thing. like it was great. It was yeah. you know everybody wanted to be Bo and Luke. Yeah. Uh, so nobody Back wanted to be here. Roscoe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I was Roscoe. <laughs> I wanted to be one of the cool guys, but I yeah, you know, Roscoe and Enos and Cletus and <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Enos had the uh, the little sexy cousin that liked him. Yeah, but Enos had had it yeah, in but... for Daisy. You yeah. know, <laughs> wow, I'm having flashbacks to the Dukes. Anyway, so that's that was my feeling. I got yeah. it has that same '70s feeling, but this is this is so well done, man. It is a well shot, well acted, well done movie. Well, you know how they got all the highway chase scenes, right? Mm-mm. This is back in the 70s when they were doing all the construction for all the main highways. Oh, so they were like empty this spots. Was all closed down. This was all brand new highway. None Holy of it was open to the public. So every car that you see on those highways, they're all they're all part of the shot. They're all called in. They're all there. That's brilliant. Purposes. That's the amazing thing. Like when you look at it now, like I know what to look for. So I'm like, okay, there's not a lot of people on this highway. In there really area. isn't. There really isn't. There's kind of very few. When they're doing those big highway scenes, that's what it was. It was nothing was open yet. That's awesome. Yeah. So they, that they, is they, awesome. They they did all that like right before they opened up all the highways. That's so they really shot cool. This film and then all of a sudden, cool. You know, that's how they did Cannonball Run. That's how they oh. did. The second, I think they did the second one the same way. Like they used strips of highway that hadn't been opened yet that they were just finishing off. That is actually really so, cool. That's really cool. That's a good way of doing it too. It is. That is really awesome. I didn't even know that. Wow. Wow. You don't have to be like the Matrix and make a three mile run for a, <laughs> a highway. They just go find somebody that built one. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Yeah. So I I really enjoy this movie. Um, I you know. I'll I'll spoil it. He does. They, they make it. They make the run. They yeah. do, and it's worth watching. Um, ending. The ending's beautiful. I'm not Stick even. Around, gonna... st- I'm not going to ruin the entire ending for you, no. but the ending with the last chat that Burt Reynolds is beautiful. The that has with it's Jack beautiful. Police. Oh it's, my God, it's beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. It's so I didn't see it coming. I I completely forgot about that. It's like yeah. oh that oh. <laughs> <It's brilliant. laughs> So stick around for that, folks. That that is awesome. I love Smokey and the Bandit. I love Burt Reynolds. Oh yeah. Um, we're gonna do more Burt Reynolds. It's coming. coming. Up, yes. But, but we're gonna take a little break, and we're gonna do the Enola Holmes. Are we yes, still we on? are. We're gonna yes, review we both of the Enola Holmes movies in one show. Two for one. It's a two for yeah. folks. Double feature time. Double feature. So uh, yeah, stick around. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around this yes. long, folks. We appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, share, um, rate us. Please. Yeah, as we said earlier. So thanks again. I do recommend this movie. Check it out. Stick around. And uh, we'll be back with more Burt after we take a trip to uh, Anola Homes. Victorian England. Yes. Later. Later.